Morning guys, welcome back to the cave. Right, so yesterday I did uh, a platter in Elm and did the uh, Cosmic Clouds effect with the Joe Sonia paints. Um, and a few people have asked how I did it, what the technique was and things like this. So I thought today I'd do something similar on video, but I'm going to be doing it on a vase. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll get the the camera um, sorted so it's actually under the piece and then we'll get some turning done. Now that just makes it easier for sanding and for colouring as well. What I will be doing, I'll be reversing this into a different chuck so I can actually finish the bottom off properly. Uh, but we'll come to that obviously towards the end. Right, what I'm going to do now is just uh, get this sanded down to 400. I'm not going to bother videoing that. Um, and then I'll get it drilled out. I'll probably not video that either. And then we'll come back and get some painting done on the outside. Right, so that's it. Just get that adjusted a wee bit. That's it all sanded down to 400. So I'm just going to add some sand and sealer on there now. This is spray on acrylic sand and sealer. It doesn't take that long to dry. I'll just wipe off the excess. And I'm just going to knock that back with a very fine abrasive pad. And now I'm going to add some ebonite chestnut. This is chestnut ebonizing lacquer.
and we'll just give that time to dry. Right then, so the ebonizing lac is dry. I've got a variety of Joe Sonia paints already mixed up here. Now the thing to remember with Joe Sonia paints is they all come out creamy coloured when you take them out of the bottles and you don't need a lot when you're doing this type of thing I'm just going to place some paint on just basically blobbing it on I can always add more if I need it Joe Sonia paints are an interference paint. It, they give a lot of depth, a lot of shadowing when you're putting them on, or when they're finished, I should say. It doesn't matter if they all get mixed in together. I know you're thinking what on earth is he doing this is a total bloody mess at the minute but hopefully you'll see the effect just shortly Now what I'm going to use to spread the paints is just one of my airbrushes with no paint pot on so I'm just going to be using the air in there and basically what we're going to do is just move the paints about using the air.
you can probably still you can probably see there's probably still quite a lot of white in there but that all changes colour and actually goes into being a colour once it dries off Right, so I'm going to let that dry <coughs> now I'll come back and put um, some lacquer on there uh, so we'll probably once I've done that I'll get it reversed around get it finished but that's the colouring basically done now so I'll just leave that to dry once I get it all finished off I'll stick some photographs up at the end um, just give us a second I'll alter the, the camera angle that was a little bit higher right guys so that's basically it it was just to show the the colouring technique that I use for the the cosmic clouds um, not my technique um, I think it was Gary Lowe, um, who's a Scottish uh, woodturner, he developed this technique on a platter, a bit like the one that I did yesterday, although his was a hell of a lot better. Um, so it's not new, it's not my technique, I haven't invented it, um, I just like using it, and I love using the, the Joe Sonia paints as well. So I hope you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up if you liked it, uh, obviously a thumbs down if you don't, but if you don't like it give us a reason why please subscribe so hit the red button underneath and if you ha are subscribed or you're going to subscribe hit the notification button as well so you can see when my next video is coming out and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon uh, I will be live tomorrow night that's Monday the God, I can't even, 10, 11th, the 12th I think it is of August so I'll be on I'm usually on a, a, around about half past eight, 25 to 9 after at home with the fishes. But they've got um, Jimmy DeResta on tomorrow night. Uh, so he might be on a while. 
because I'm sure they'll want to chat for quite a while with them. So I might be a bit later with me live tomorrow night. Thanks for watching.